Hey cutie. Welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Laura. Hi, hello. Welcome. I've been doing so much work in the background to prepare for this video and I'm so excited about my next update for my meal pan left behind. If you have missed many updates in this series, you will not have known that I did actually hit no pan left behind with my palettes in my collection. Uh, that was a couple months ago, actually. So like big kudos for that large accomplishment. But ever since last update, when I checked in with you guys on kind of how things were progressing in my no pan left behind, I did actually go ahead and roll in these two behemoths into this kind of no pan left behind. And what I had done is actually pulled all of my eyeshadows that I had still yet to use in my singles. Now I have my Cleona shades in one palette and then I have my round singles in the other palette. And I pulled every single one of those shades that I had not used yet. And I put them into this large Tarte magnetic palette. And I'm gonna roll a clip of what it looked like when we had put all of the eyeshadows in. There were a decent amount of shades left to use. I don't have the number right in front of me. If I was smart, I would have looked that up. When we spoke last, there were 34 single eyeshadows living within this Tarte magnetic container. And I have been really putting some work in. There's no, uh, there's no point beating around the bush. These are the shades I have left to use in my single shadow collection. Nothing. I actually used every single magnetic single shadow in my collection over the past, I don't know, six weeks, however long it, the time has been since we last saw each other for this type of check-in. And I'm so happy about it. I made such incredible progress in my no pan left behind. I've actually filmed a video that's coming on Friday. So I do have all of my shades within my Cleona palette. I marked off on a little sticky note that I had for my no pan left behind. I did not do my singles in my like normal format. I, I just have sticky notes for them. My singles, I have my colors colored in for my little Tetris blocks or whatever they are to you. And I am so happy about just the progress that I've made in this assortment and all of the things that are in my collection. And the reason why it's taken me so long to come back and check in because I actually finished using up the single, like the magnetic singles pretty early. Like it didn't take me that long to use all of them in some capacity. It probably took me until like maybe the end of October and now it's midway through November. I'm filming on the 17th. It's going to go live a couple days later, but I've obviously had so much time on my hands from like the end of October to now because I've been doing something else. I was trying to meet another goal and just be able to like completely share and conclude this project at this update. However, I haven't met my goal yet. And that goal is to use every single loose eyeshadow in my collection as well. And I have my containers of loose eyeshadow, like my other things that live in my makeup collection. I have that in front of me because I've made a ton of progress in this. And again, this is something else I'm so excited to share with you. But there is going to be one more update because there is some products that I still am, I still want to use in the year. So I guess the, the big thing that I want to say is every single eyeshadow in this assortment, so you can see there's clearly a ton of product just slammed into this. I have used every single one of these in No Pan Left Behind style. I've touched every single item within this. All these loose eyeshadows. I have single pots of eyeshadows. I have split pan liners in here. I am so happy that I've used every single item within this container. There's a ton of stuff in here. There is a ton of stuff in here. And really, the only thing that I have left to use is in this container. This 
arguably much more intimidating container of color. I don't know if you can really tell in here. This is like because the angle and like how I have to hold this. This is like a sea of neutrals in this. This is a sea of very, very bright items. So actually I <laughs> and even in here, it's a little misleading because I have actually used half of the items within this array of items. Everything in this little compartment I've already used. I've already used everything within here. All these matte fluid eye paints, albeit the only thing I haven't used is this unopened eye primer, but that's kind of like my backup product, so I don't need to reach into that. I've used all my liquid eye paints. I only need to use the items in here. This big neon bright scariness. <laughs> this is what I have left to use for the end of November to December. And I am actually happy because I did reach for one of these neon pigments today, so it's happily housed in this container now. I surprisingly have a neon purple on my lower lash line. I doubt you'll be able to see. Maybe I'll zoom and try to show you. I have it on my lower lash line. You're probably not going to be able to tell, and so I'm going to zoom this sucker back out. So I do have that on my lower lash line. I have one of the brighter split pan liners as my liner today this is in the raspberry punch it's like a very beautiful like pinky ra raspberry shade i just have these ones left and i have a lot of like orangey pink neons and i feel like i'm gonna do something similar with those as i did with this look and just kind of tuck them either in the lower lash line or mix them with the neutral to make it a little bit less like whew, neon girl whew. uh I don't know what I'm going to do with like the blue though. That one is a little bit of a wild card item and same with the green like these. I can definitely use the yellow in some capacity, but these two are going to be a challenge, the blue and the green. So I don't know what I'm going to do with those. That might be a eyeliner kind of shade. And then within these also, I have my split pan liners that I want to try to use. I do have a couple other cake liners that I will try to use. I'll grab those real quick to show. So I have two cake pan, like cake liner palettes in my collection as well. I have this one here, which actually I only need to use these two shades this year. I have used the red and I have used the green on camera, I believe too. I believe I had looks using those two. I don't remember if I've had a look this year using the gold or silver, so I do want to just try to get use in those. I don't know. And then this palette looks disgusting because I mix shades in this all the time. This is a pastel palette. Now, I don't foresee myself really... I've actually used this palette a decent amount, so I'm not concerned about using these shades because I know I have clearly... They look gross. So I'm not super concerned about using this one. However, I know for a fact it's been a while since I've used these two colors in this. And then I do have some other random cake liners just in shades that I'm not. They're a little more out there kind of shades. Well, a couple of them. <laughs> I could definitely wear the brown one. Clearly, that's not like super out there. So that will be pretty easy. I have my Suva white and black liner, which again, I've used that a decent amount of time. And then I have the white and black in the other cake pan liner palette. But I'm just trying to get use out of my collection. I have a orange cake liner that I don't, I mean, clearly I don't reach for this a lot, but this is the time to do it. November, like we got Thanksgiving on the horizon. I can use the yellow and the orange. I can even mix a bunch of these together too. I have to remember that. I also have the ban Bananafi, Banafi. it's a yellow split pan, again, by Glisten. And then I have Olive Tree, which honestly, this might be the prettier of the ones that I have left. And I haven't actually mixed the shades and used them. I've only used them independently. So I feel like actually this would be a really pretty one to mix the shades and get some good use out of this. I'm so happy that I've really not forced myself to use my loose eyeshadows, but I've challenged myself to use my loose eyeshadows to really get a lay of the land in my collection and just make sure that I'm still enjoying these products and they're not just like collecting dust, wasting space without actually me enjoying the products anymore. So I am happy that I challenged myself, not forced, challenged myself to use these products and 
just figure out that I do like them still and they do have relevance in my collection and goodness gracious are they gonna take forever <laughs> to finish up they've been living in my collection for so long they're gonna take forever to finish up but that is it for my no pan left behind I am so happy that I am doing it this way I know there is a freckled klutz is doing a five use on everything goal like Hats off to you. You truly impressed me so much. You've actually inspired a project for next year, which I'm excited to share with you guys at some point. Uh, but that is it for this video. I hope you guys are staying healthy, sane, and safe. Let me know if you are looking forward to seeing some bright ass neon colors for the cold months of the end of my year. It's about to be winter in the Northern Hemisphere. So if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, Maybe these are relevant to you now, but not so much for me uh, up north. But that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're staying healthy, sane, and safe. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye.